The Breakdown. Uh, breakdown. 15% of new COVID infections have been found in children. Government officials have called in an elite squad familiar with the population. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Gonna get there on the double. <laughs> the new surge of cases has coincidentally risen following the news of tomorrow's big spelling test. <laughs> Mom, I, I don't feel good. I think I'd rather watch The Price is Right and King of Queens instead. Convincing? In an historic first, smoke from Russia's wildfires have reached the North Pole. This is not to discount when in 2016, Rudolph returned from a California holiday with a different kind of smoke. <laughs> he also reportedly brought back two new reindeer named Cheech and Chong. Looks like his nose isn't the only thing that's red. <laughs> Some Republican officials are blaming migrants for the rising number of COVID cases. Our BNN migrant experts, or migrant BNN experts, I don't know where they are half the time. But anyway, our lab coats have found this to be true. These migrants include people migrating to Chicago for riot fest, people migrating to Florida for a life absent of law and order, and people migrating from reality because they don't want to wear a mask. Wear a mask. Arkansas apparently only has eight free ICU beds in the entire state. Many experts are looking toward older English families to find a more efficient way to use their resources. Startup company Geometric Energy Core will be sending a 4x4x4 billboard into Earth's lower orbit. Now large companies like Geico can save 15% or more by not investing in this shitty service. 4x4x4? Four by four by four? This is great news for 16-bit video game developers. You can almost fit an entire advertisement. And this is shit news for people who live on planet Earth. They'll never see the discounts coming. But now, we're finally reaching the niche market of the Rupel's Griffin Vulture. They can fly up to 37,000 feet. Just a little ornithological fact. Doc Fauci is suggesting that all teachers be required to vaccinate before this upcoming school year. Teachers have unanimously come out saying, please, dear God, please. There are so many children. And now there are 15% of the cases. Where is Paw Patrol? John Stewart and Pete Davidson will be performing a 9-11 comedy show for charity. I personally appreciate a bit of respite on a day that we should never forget. And if it's anything like Pete Davidson's King of Staten Island, well, maybe it's something we actively want to forget anyway. <laughs> Lionel Messi is leaving Spanish team Barcelona to go to French team Paris Saint-Germain, that's not how it's pronounced. But this move is of course dumbfounding to most American sports fans, not only because they can't pronounce it, but because they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Mountain Dew is partnering with Sam Adams to create the world's first alcoholic Mountain Dew. This finally answers the question, has science gone too far? Yes, yes it has. This is a real testament to our, oh. I meant to say this is a real test. This is a real test for our kidneys, livers, and brain cells. But folks, honestly, who's surprised? Water is alcohol nowadays. Alcohol is water. I'd make the argument that Mountain Dew is pretty late to the train and is just going about it the wrong way. Mountain Dew and moonshine is basically a West Virginia delicacy. And why would you mix any kind of soft drink with beer in the first place? You know, you got rum and coke, sunny D and tequila, and grape soda with brandy. That's it. Except, here we have something I like to call John's Morning Mist. It's a homemade mixture of whiskey and Lipton sugar crystals. A mother in the UK was upset to discover she'd given her baby the same name as a character on a sexy Netflix comedy. She plans to change the baby's name, saying, I would never call a child after a TV character in a million years. The character? Maeve Sexton. <laughs> that baby is such a Maeve. You know, what would actually be some good names from TV to name a kid? I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to name a child Fat Albert or Miss Piggy, Stimpy or Steve. Or Urkel. Forcing yourself later as a parent to ask, did I do that? <laughs>